टाइकोंडो का नाम है मार्शल आर्ट जिम मैं तीन साल से जिम सीखती हूँ और मैं स्वस्थ और अच्छा बनना चाहती हूँ वेन आई एम थ्री ईयर्स ओल्ड आई स्टार्टेड टाइकोंडो मैं टाइकोंडो इसलिए सीखता हूँ क्योंकि मैं अपनी कंट्री को रिप्रेजेंट करना चाहता हूँ एक ओलंपिक लेवल की अपनी कंट्री के लिए गोल्ड लाना चाहता हूँ टाइकोंडो में ओलंपिक लेवल India is fast developing into a major contender in the international taekwondo arena. Call it a bend towards more health conscious life. Indians today are accepting as well as exploring new fitness regime. And now Indians are taking to taekwondo not just as an Olympic sport but also as an important fitness routine. With over 1 million active taekwondo practitioners in India, we have been participating in almost all official international level championships. This is a sport uh, where it helps you uh, uh, you know uh, what do you call it uh, sp some sp uh, flexibility is there, some strength training is there and a lot of concentration and mental uh, uh, what do you call it uh, concentration is there. And my son is uh, nine years old. He is enjoying a lot here. He is learning for last five years. I am coming here. Yes, uh, he was uh, just four when we joined. So till now, now he is black belt, and he has learnt a lot from here. एक साल हो गया. वो सीख रही है. बच्चा भी बहुत एंजॉय कर रहा है और हम पेरेंट्स को भी बहुत अच्छा लगता है. Taekwondo का फ्यूचर काफी अच्छा है, काफी प्राइड है. और मेन क्या है हम लोग जो बच्चों को मोटो कर रहे हैं फोकस कर रहे हैं ये करते हैं फॉर सेल्फ डिफेंस जो टाइकोंडो गेम है ये ओलंपिक स्पोर्ट्स है एक रेकोगनाइज गेम है ये तो इसका काफी अच्छा फ्यूचर है डिफरेंट अकाउंट्स एट्रिब्यूट द स्टार्ट ऑफ टाइकोंडो इन इंडिया टू डिफरेंट सोर्सेस सम सोर्सेस साइड द मार्च 1974 इमिग्रेशन ऑफ जिमी जगतियानी फ्रॉम वियतनाम एट द स्टार्ट ऑफ टाइकोंडो इन इंडिया 1976 में टाइकोंडो फेडरेशन ऑफ इंडिया स्थापना हुआ इसके बाद पूरा हिंदुस्तान में फैल गया जम्मू कश्मीर से लेके कन्याकुमारी तक ये ताइकोंडो में फैल गया आज के तारीख में ताइकोंडो हिंदुस्तान में सात लाख स्टूडेंट हैं और हर हर शहर में लोग वे हर डिस्ट्रिक्ट में ताइकोंडो में लोग जाने लगा While the other sources cite 1981 emigration of Korean great grand master Seong Dong Chang which led to the start of taekwondo in our country there is another claim according to which master Puran Andrew Gurung introduced taekwondo to India after returning from Hong Kong Gurung had studied taekwondo under master Lee Pyong Pal from 1969 to 1974 And since 1974 he has been promoting taekwondo after earning his second dan under the great grand master. He initially started taekwondo classes in Kalimpong, Darjeeling and Sikkim. Later he expanded his trainings to Kolkata, south of India, northeast and northern parts of India. In India there are no special uh, martial arts. Yeah. Many people uh, practice yoga, yeah. uh, but mostly uh, ladies. And uh, I have seen many uh, uh, gentlemen have a good belly. Oh, right. <laughs> so <laughs> right, <yes>. <laughs> <laughs> we need uh, some practice, uh, physical exercise. We need. So in that sense, uh, taekwondo is very good for uh, make their uh, body fit. and uh, getting confidence for self themselves indian people beating some another country japanese australian russian korean also so two girls uh, bronze medals you know 47 country coming where uh, in korea oh 
yeah, 47 country coming, uh. they'll get uh, bronze medals. Right. Yeah, this uh, championship is very tough. You know, G, G game means ranking games. Many country people are uh, very interested because this ranking get some uh, Olympic ticket also get direct. Right. That's, that's why many people come in. Hmm. The art of Taekwondo was introduced for the first time in national games conducted by Indian Olympic Association, the IOA, at New Delhi in the year 1985. The TFI had arranged special demonstration by court and experts at the residence of then Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi in New Delhi on 17 March 1986. Rajiv Gandhi was so impressed that he promised to extend all possible help to Taekwondo and the Taekwondo Federation of India. The TFI. This led to instant recognition of Taekwondo Federation of India in 1988 by the Department of Youth Affairs and Sports, the Government of India, and the authority to have its corresponding units in all states and union territories of India. Today, about 350,000 Taekwondoans are learning Taekwondo in 586 centers with its affiliated members. Taekwondo Association in states and union territories, boards and schools under Taekwondo Federation of India, the TFI. Taekwondo is a martial arts. Okay. Yeah, martial arts. Martial arts, you know very well. Uh, some uh, good body, yeah. uh, some thinking. Yeah. Our class of, of some beginner, yeah. every day is one hour practice. Okay. And some athletics, some uh, player, mm -hmm. some uh, they want some participation player. Mm -hmm. They're almost four to eight hour practice here. Every day. Yeah, every, every day. Days. But for commoners, it is one hour is okay. Yeah, a beginner is a one hour. Ah. Uh, this okay. But when they get some black belt, yeah. So. First to get black belt, they can participation Taekwondo Championship. I my target uh, 2024 France Olympic. Okay. Yes. You are sending Indians. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is Taekwondo story in India. But our purpose is to take you to the land of Taekwondo and to tell you how Taekwondo came into being. So let's take you to South Korea. I am at Kukiwon, the heart of Taekwondo. It's the national sports of Korea and they say that today more people are practicing Taekwondo than any other form of martial arts. The name Taekwondo is derived from the Korean word Tai meaning foot, Kwon meaning fist, and Do meaning way off. So literally Taekwondo means the way of foot and fist. Within Korea, there were five major martial art academies at Kwons. They were called Muduk Kwon, Jido Kwon, Changmu Kwon, Chungdo Kwon and Songmu Kwon. Within these schools lie a variety of styles such as Kong Su Do, Tai Kwon, Su Bak Do, Tang Su Do and Kwong Pak. The way of teaching and employing many of techniques varied as much as the number of schools. In 1955, the board of instructors, historians and prominent society members sat down to coordinate all the schools and select a name for this fabulous unified art. And in April 1955, a new name was adopted from a group of names suggested by the board. Since then, this art has been called Taekwondo. In 1962, the Korean Amateur Sports Association recognized the Korean Taekwondo Union, which later became to be known as Taekwondo, which later became to be known as Korean Taekwondo Association, the KTA. In May 28, 1973, the World Taekwondo Federation was officially established at Kokiwon. 
its headquarters now by Dr. Oh Yeon Kim. 여기서 지금 국견 시범단에서 시범을 하고 있는 단원들은요 전문적인 선수들입니다. 그래서 저와 마찬가지로 태권도의 우수성을 알리기 위해서 태권도를 여러 사람들에게 알리고 홍보하기 위해서 태권도 시범을 전문적으로 배우고 있는 선수들. 어, 태권도는 그냥 제 인생입니다. 제가 지금 태권도를 수련한 지가 한 37년 정도 됐거든요. 이 좋은 태권도, 이 좋은 운동을 많은 사람들에게 알려주고 배움의 동기를 주기 위해서 태권도 시범을 하고 있습니다. Taekwondo is practiced in South Korea from the very early in the childhood, and that is why. When the children grow, they contribute their utmost in the development of the country. They gain accuracy in self-defense, in attack, and also in their professional lives. And I think that Taekwondo is one of the factors in the development of South Korea. Today in Korea, there are more than 100,000 active Taekwondo practitioners, of whom around 15,000 are serious athletes. Taekwondo is now practiced in 208 countries with five continental unions. A lot of Taekwondo practitioners and enthusiasts from world over visit Kukiwon, the official headquarters for the Korean martial arts of Taekwondo. I, I do practice Taekwondo uh, back in Denmark, uh, in Copenhagen, Taekwondo is it's quite a popular sport. I think in my country we have uh, over 30 dojangs or, or clubs uh, around the country and it's quite a popular sport both amongst kids but also for grown-ups. Cookie One is doing a lot to encourage uh, the sports outside of Korea uh, to make um, well a taste of Korea uh, in other countries. At Kukiwon, practitioners of Taekwondo can become certified instructors, undergo tests to climb the ranks, and attend the institute's Taekwondo Academy. Taekwondo is a self-defense, 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 스포츠로 발전한 태권도가 지금 현재 시대에서는 이 관람 문화, 문화 상품으로서의 가치가 높아지고 있는 상태라서 이 공연 문화로서의 그 역할을 지금 시범이 태권도 시범이 수행하고 있습니다. Cookie One's another aim is to develop and promote awareness of Taekwondo as a sport and as part of Korea's cultural heritage. It is documented that martial arts began 2300 years ago in Korea. Known as martial arts and the way of life, the evolution of Taekwondo was direct result of happenings in Korea long ago. It all started with the need to use one's hands, arms, legs and feet to disarm or disable those who had weapons. Taekwondo, which focuses mostly on kicks, may have been part of the history of Korean population to protect themselves. Some researchers believe that cave drawings from around 50 BC depict fighters doing martial arts poses that look a lot like early form of Taekwondo. Taekwondo's own history, however, starts with the establishment of three kingdoms in Korean Peninsula, namely Silla, founded in 57 BC, Kaguryu, founded in 37 BC, and Paik J, founded in 18 BC. The Silla kingdom, initially the smallest of the kingdoms, needed help from Paikje to defend itself against Kukuryu, the kingdom to the north, as well as against the pirates. Paikje had a rudimentary style of martial arts, and soldiers of Paikje taught the soldiers of Silla. Chin Hyung, 24th king of Silla, took martial arts training a step further. He included it to be a part of military training and thus began a group of young fighting men named Huang Rang Do. These Huarangdo soldiers thus learned an early form of Taekwondo called Sabuk. Huarangdo military conquest helped to defend the enemies and eventually unite three separate kingdoms of the Korean Peninsula. In 936 AD, Wangkwon founded the Koryo Kingdom. 
Subak, Su meaning Han and Bak meaning fight, was a style of martial arts practiced during Koryu dynasty by Huang Rangro, both for health and for self-defense. During the reign of Qing Uijong between the years 1147 to 1170, Subak fighters were greatly respected and Subak was recognized as national pastime, much as cricket is recognized in India today. Subak was not just confined to Huang Rangdo and military but was also taught to commoners, something which went a long way to increase its popularity and with that the number of practitioners. During the 1300s, the Subak style of martial arts developed in Taekwon, tracing history to current name of Taekwondo with an emphasis on kicking. Taekwon became the national sport until Japanese occupied the country in the year 1909. After the Japanese invasion of Korean Peninsula, all Korean culture was suppressed from 1909 to 1945. Anything connected to Korean heritage, arts or practices were held illegal. Subak and Taekwon masters went into hiding or travel to other countries, teaching and influencing modern Taekwondo forms. The art of Taekwondo got lost during the occupation of Korea by Japan. But after it became independent, it became stronger than ever before. In 1980, the International Olympic Committee, the IOC, recognized WTF, making Taekwondo a demonstration in sport for 1988 and 1992 Olympic Games. Today, Taekwondo is an official event at the Olympic Games. Basically, uh, in Olympics 2020, it is coming in 2020, but I uh, hope so how IOA will conduct it, uh, that's only matters. We uh, usually do practice for, uh, make a goal for like Olympics or like Asian Championships, Asian Games, national events and we have participated in national events. We made, uh, our full KCC team have made it gold medal in national uh, levels. Taekwondo actually has some other kind of skills also like uh, like some gymnastics also some advanced kicking also so this these time these types of kicks uh, like uh, provoke me to do Taekwondo more and more I have got selected selected for world championships in 2018 held held in China and uh, I was got selected for uh, Asian Games mm. selection trials Korean masters are very limited yeah. And they teach uh, Indian uh, good uh, Taekwondo players and the Indian teachers teaching uh, Indian students. Oh, right. So it's not just uh, uh, depend too much on Korean masters. Okay. Indian, there are many, many pos uh, potential uh, of Indian, uh, Indian masters. Okay. So we'll fully depend on Indian masters and let them spread more for the Indian, uh, how to say, uh, self-defense and the fitness of Indian youngsters. Centuries after its evolution, the art of Taekwondo is just as exciting as ever and under the leadership of World Taekwondo Federation, it has grown into an international art and sports practiced in over 190 countries worldwide. Taekwondo began in South Korea as a mode of self-defense. Later, it took the shape of art form and also it became the part of Korean culture. Now, in the whole world, almost 70 million people are practicing Taekwondo. And one of the